I am told uh, the Cuban vaccine has been validated by the WHO, by Mr. Dr. Tedros. One of my people told me. So if the Cuban vaccine has been validated, oh, then uh, of the Cubans are part of our group. They, they, they are part of the Africans. So uh, then we shall see. We shall see which of these people want to redeem themselves. Because this is a big shame on them. They need redemption. But this is the last, as far as Uganda is concerned, this is the, the last time we shall be in this type of situation. We shall develop our own capacity. Uh, and God also, God is also on the side of the unlucky. We may also get other solutions because we seem to be moving quite, quite well on the therapeutic. So that's what I would like to say. Yes, in the short run, if they can, good. But they haven't. Because if, if we had vaccinated, we wouldn't get this second wave. Because for us, we had controlled the first wave. Only 300 people died in the, in the first wave in one and a half years. Only 300 people. Now, I think we have gone to 800, a total of 800 now, because of, uh, of, 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 of missing out on, on, on the vaccine. So... We are ready, but we have learned. Certain, of course, for me, I knew the only thing is to convince all these people here that you people, Saba Gamba. Saba Gamba in Germany, is, did, did, did I not tell you? Did, did I not tell you that you should depend on yourselves? That, that's really, uh, really the issue. Thank you very much. Uh, I think you can allow me to go with the, to take the first lady. Have I not finished my work? Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. We, the M8 Alliance, uh, we very much uh, feel concerned about this uh, vaccine inequity and we feel this is the time to tell the whole world that we do not support this and we request that equity should be considered. I would like to invite the president of the M8 Alliance to mention uh, what we plan to do in order to come up with the Kampala Declaration on Vaccine Iniquity. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for this opportunity. Your Excellency, um, you really made a very relevant point with your three failures, um, which were evident in many parts of the world. It's a question of solidarity, which you call tribal. It's a question of belief, which you call Christian. In, and most importantly, it's a question of a good brain, which you call strategic. And you are quite right, the world failed. But it also tells us a lesson, the exact lesson which you are alluding to. We have to be strong individually and regionally, but we also have to work together globally. And with that, I would like to stimulate that the M8 <coughs> Alliance and also the Ugandan government represented by yourself and maybe Dr. Tetros by the WHO and my co-president Charles Iwingira, that we push for a Kampala declaration addressing exactly these issues and asking for the world to, to take the lesson from, from these 
events. I'm optimistic that we can learn. I'm not so optimistic that it will not happen again because people have to learn over and over. But I think it's our responsibility to use this very special location and, and these very high-ranking political and, and strategic people to send a signal to the world as a um, Kampala declaration asking for means to address the inequity right now. And with a view also into the future, providing every local region and nation with the means to address future threats. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, the president of the MLT Alliance. Dr. Tedros in Geneva, I think uh, Dr. Barnabas had to. Let, let's, let's say, yeah. It seems uh, Dr. Tedros uh, could have a rejoinder to His Excellency. Uh, you could give your rejoinder, and that would conclude now that debate on the vaccine apartheid. Please unmute uh, Dr. Tedros. Uh. Uh, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I think I have uh, taken a lot of uh, time today and such a great, a great honor. And I would like again uh, to thank uh, Uganda for uh, hosting this uh, event and for His Excellency the President. Uh, I mean, to His Excellency the President for his leadership. Um, one thing I would like to say is that I fully agree uh, with uh, the President of the World Health Summit's recommendation that's to have uh, a declaration uh, of the meeting uh, and would be happy to support in, in any way uh, possible. As you may know, I am the patron of the World Health Summit and uh, I, I, fully, I fully concur. And the declaration can help us also in the October uh, meeting of the World Health Summit in, in Berlin. And thank you also to Germany uh, for, uh, you know, helping in having this regional, first ever uh, regional meeting in, in Uganda. Uh, vielen Dank, uh, uh, Your Excellency Ambassador. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, Your Excellency, we must uh, I must report to Your Excellency that uh, Macquarie University receives a lot of support from the World Health Organization. They have actually chosen our College of Health Sciences as one of the focal research uh, areas uh, or partners of the World Health Organization in Africa. So we want to thank the World Health Organization very much. We are also excited about the Memorandum of Understanding. We have signed with the Charité. Charité is, the, as has been reported, one of the leading global uh, schools of medicine and the partnering with the, uh, what we remain the top school of tropical medicine in the world. For the last 60 years, we have been recognized as the top school of tropical medicine in the world. And the, now partnering with the, a top school of medicine from the North Pole, I think is a good thing that we have tropical medicine and then we have the medicine from the other side so that we can learn from each other as the, the president of Waymate Alliance